the GTX 1050 and the GTX 1050 Ti. Which one should you buy? Over here, I have the colorful GTX 1050, which is this model here, and the colorful GTX 1050 Ti. Now, I'm not going to pronounce the name here. I'm sure to forget about the name. The names are, as you see on this video here, somewhere around. I haven't planned where to put it, but yeah, that's the name for it. Well, the GTX 1050 Ti here has 4 gigs of RAM and the 1050 here has 2 gigs of RAM. So, what's the difference? What do you get from these cards? So, basically, that's what we are tackling in this video to let you know the performance of these two cards to help you decide which one should you get. Should you get the cheaper RM600 something GTX 1050 or the RM800 plus GTX 1050 Ti? Stay tuned! For this comparison, the 1050 Ti here runs at normal mode and turbo mode. Normal mode and turbo mode is done by pressing the button here. In normal mode, it's very close to the reference model. As for the GTX 1050 here, I run it at normal mode which is the speed that's out of the box and an overclock speed of which I overclock using a software to get it to 1580 for the core. Let's have a look at the benchmarks. On some tests, you'll see the 1050 when overclocked will perform similarly to a 1050 Ti. The 1050 Ti, on the other hand, will have advantage when the game pushes the VRAM envelope. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this uh, benchmark, you seeing the results, will help you decide which one should you spend on. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and do remember to subscribe to this channel. See you next time.